Hey guys, welcome to another episode with us this week. Last week, Ricky sailed down from Martinique to St. Lucia by himself because of visa issues, being a South African and being on a South African passport. It's not the easiest. So he had to fly to Martinique and then sail down to St. Lucia to come pick me up. Um, surprisingly, he did pretty good speeds considering our hole has been sitting for three months. So we're going to get into the water and get scrubbing and scrub that hole and get it nice and clean and good to go again for our sail to Grenada. We're spending hurricane season in Grenada this year. We've just been too down south, like it would take us longer and racing up north just to get out of the hurricane belt. So we decided to choose Grenada again this year as our hurricane stop. And we had a super leaky window. Um, it literally, the rain just poured through our window onto our bed so we needed to get that window fixed as soon as possible so check it out in this episode As you can see, we had a whole little ecosystem growing underneath Lady Africa. It took about two hours to scrub our holes pretty clean. We have been super impressed with the prop glide. We've had minimal to none growth on the props. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. Since we're a catamaran, what's done on one hull needs to be done on the other. Once the hull was clean, it was time to check out of St. Lucia and head off to Grenada. Time to check out of St. Lucia, so we're going to head off to the Port Authority and check out and then leave tomorrow morning and we're going to do an overnight sail to Grenada with no stops um, just because we'd like to get there as soon as possible. So yeah, we're going to check out, maybe get some fruits and stuff for the road and do a little bit of walking and sightseeing and then, yeah. After checking out, we made a quick stop at the boat shop. As a cruiser, you always have to check out the local boat shop. We made a quick stop at our friends Michael and Monica's as well to say goodbye.
Are you ready to rumble? We are ready. It's early in the morning. Got a nice northeasterly to head south. It's perfect winds, but tomorrow it's going to change. So it's going to change to a slight southeast east. So we'll beat into it a little bit, but the wind's going to be really weak. So maybe 10 to 15. And today we've got 15 to 23. So we're Looking forward to sailing down. Straight to Grenada. Yep, straight to Grenada overnight, and we'll be there in the morning, morning midday, plus check in whatnot. Let's go. So we're off to Grenada. It's good to be back on the boat again and sailing and yeah, a lot of changes happening in our lives so this is always a nice, you know, constant. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're excited to be going back to Grenada and seeing new people that we've met along the way that are also there for, for hurricane season. And a lot of our friends from South Africa has crossed over, so we'll see them. So yeah, it's going to be good. Not gonna move for you. He's on anchor, but I think he's gonna move for me. What do you think? Totally. I think I can take him on. How bad was the growth, babes? Yes. Yeah. Insane. I'm lucky, like, not any, no marks were left on the hole. Well, not many marks were left on the hole. But it was insane. I couldn't, I couldn't. Oh well, I could, but I was like struggling to do five knots, two engines and sails. How was your solo sail without me? It was boring. He needs his chummy. Let me give this guy a bit of a wide bird. Who's your chummy? You're my chummy. See? <laughs> the distance from St. Lucia to Grenada is 105 nautical miles. We hadn't seen any dolphins since arriving in the Caribbean in March 2021, so we were so happy to see them again. We're in Grenada, baby! We had to make a stopover in St. George's or Port Louis to check into Grenada as it's the only place you can check in besides Caracou. 
So we had to stop over before heading over to Secret Harbor to anchor there. Check-in complete and now we're heading off to Mount Harmon Bay but first we get aside. The boat looks a little grubby. He's gonna rust buster. Besides. Alrighty, so we've made it to Secret Harbor. We just anchored in our spot that we anchored in last time we were here. It's kind of weird feeling about coming back to Grenada. Since we spent so much time here, it kind of felt like we came home, if that makes sense. Like we know this place, we know where to go, where everything is. So yeah, it shows you how long we were actually here. Ricky's busy scouting around at our mooring ball that we want to take before we fly out and yeah oh here he comes and then now uh, we're just gonna take a walk over to um prickly bay how was the sail down babes how you move it was long i sailed alone mm -hmm. Not joking. Kind of yeah, the weather made me feel a little ugh. Got strep throat. To the it's exactly what I have. There was rain predicted for the whole week in Grenada, so we really needed to button down the hatches and get our window repaired as soon as possible. This was the first window we installed on Lady Africa, so it was our trial and error window. We were pleasantly surprised on how long she's lasted. The first step was to remove the sealant around the window. We used our oscillating tool to do this. The primer failed at the bottom. So we'll do that properly. But this was the only one, like I said, that was the very first one that we put down and uh, we weren't so confident, but these, these ones on the sides, um, on both sides and the back, that was done afterwards and those are rock solid. They're really, really perfect. So I'm gonna replace this one quickly. And well, quickly is a relative term, probably take half a day, but um, yeah, we'll show you the process. But yeah, that oscillating tool, that's what you want to get. After carefully removing the window, we removed any excess sealant with the oscillating tool. We then took an orbital sander and sanded off any primer that was on the fiberglass, as well as gave a light sanding to the areas on the window that will also be taking primer. taped around the outside and that's where when I do the outside beauty bead is what they call it 
or the seeker flex around the outside taped on the inside because that's where the edge of the frame is and we're going to prime all of that but before we prime it i need to clean it up nicely and then make sure that i don't put my hands on that area anymore so that's been sanded down real good we'll prime it perfectly well and then we need to find out if i need to put one piece of tape on it i need to put one piece of tape on it so that i know which side goes what so we're gonna test fit it to see which one's up down left right on the on the way for this so i like to do it twice and then i know i've covered all my bases Next step was to apply the primer. Don't put it the pain in your ass. And but it goes a really long way. This could do the whole boat. Put a lid. And now when you do use it, try and put this thing back every single time. We first applied the primer to our acrylic window. Sanded down any rough edges that may have remained on the fiberglass. Just like the acrylic windows, we wiped down the fiberglass with denatured alcohol. And then we primed the fiberglass. We found that using 3M VHB tape works best for bonding the acrylic window. Finished off with a generous bead of Seekerflex 295. And just like that, no more leaks. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. And see you guys next week. Ciao, ciao. If you'd like to support our channel, you can do so by joining the Lady Africa family by joining our Patreon group. You can do so by clicking on the link in the description below or above. Have a good week.